All right, so where you're going to need to start is you're going to need your PVC pipe. So what we're going to be using today is we're going to be using a we're going to be using a one and a quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. So the outside diameter of this thing is about an inch and a half in diameter. So as you can see, it's a it's a fairly large pipe. When we flatten this out and shape the grip, it'll be very comfortable. So what you want to do is you want to cut this pipe to 66 inches long. You can see there. And then what you want to do is you want to mark the center, and then you want to mark three inches on either side of the center. All right, so that's your PVC pipe. You're also going to need a heat source because we're going to flatten this. So I'm going to be using my heat gun. And just as a, as a disclaimer, when you're heating up PVC pipe, it will give off a couple different types of harmful fumes. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. You know, you want to get a respirator and use that. You know, and just be cautious, go slow. If you can smell the pipe, you're heating it too fast. If you heat the pipe up properly, you should not smell anything. And you should not be, be releasing that much in the way of fumes. We're not trying to burn the pipe. We're just trying to heat it up until it's soft enough to flatten. And also be very careful when you heat up the pipe because when you heat it up and it becomes flexible enough to flatten, it will also be hot enough to fuse with your skin if you touch it with your bare hands or on any other part of your body. So be very, very careful with that. You know, I suggest wearing heat resistant gloves and make sure your arms and your legs and any other extremities are covered if you're anywhere near this kind of heat. So that's it. You need your heat gun. You're going to need a saw of some sort. So this is going to be for cutting the taper into our tips. And I'm also going to be using that saw for cutting the knocks for the string to go onto. And then other than that, that's all you really need to make this bow. So uh, uh, as a side note, I'm going to be using heat shrink tubing. This is one and a half inch heat shrink tubing. I'm going to be using this you know, just as a decorative wrap and also for stabilizing the tips. You could also just wrap the tips, and we'll get to that later. So, let's get started. Alright, so now we're going to heat this up. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys is what I like to do is, for this bow, you want to make your spacers um, one and a quarter inches tall. So, what I did was I took my... my uh, three quarter inch spacers and I added half an inch spacers to them so that it adds up to an inch and a quarter. So that way when we flatten the pipe we get a good taper here. So we're going to start off by heating this up and we're going to flatten it. So I'm just going to, you've seen this all before, so I'm just going to show you how this is done. And uh, with the with the larger pipe like this, you know, it's just going to take a little extra time, but just be gentle and be gradual with it. You don't want to burn it. Okay, so once your pipe gets flexible like this, what you want to do is you want to heat it up just a little bit more. And then you want to go ahead and put it underneath the flattener jig. Now kind of an extra thing you want to do is you want to, for this thick bow, or for this thick pipe, you want to actually heat up the sides gently. So, you want to apply pressure and just heat up both sides. Once your limb is flattened, you just want to let this cool down for a little bit.
Here's the boat. You can see it's a pretty good thickness. So just want to make sure that it's staying. If it starts puffing back up, go back and apply pressure again. So I'm going to do that until it's a little bit cool. And you just want to go ahead and look down the boat, just sight down the boat and make sure that it's straight. It's not crooked or anything. So there you go. You can see the taper it has. So now what you want to do is you want to copy this on the other side and then we'll go on to the next step. Alright, so now that you've got both limbs tapered, what you want to do is you want to heat up your handle section and you want to get your heat protection ready, whatever that may be. So you just want to gently heat up the handle, concentrating on these hollow spots here until this whole handle section is nice and flat. Alright, so now that it's nice and flexible, what you want to do is you want to figure out this is the back of the bow. So we're going to take the back of the bow, close the heat gun, place the back of the bow against a flat surface, so the ground. And then you want to straighten out both limbs, make sure they're not twisted, make sure they line up. And you want to actually squish the handle like this. And you want to go from about your handle marks and you want to squish it. You want to make the handle about an inch in width. Okay. So what you can do actually is you can pinch a little more on the top and the bottom so you can leave just a little bit of thickness in the center if you can see that. So you want to go ahead and just keep doing that until it's nice and cooled down. And you just want to keep adjusting this until it cools down completely so that it sets the way you want it to. Okay. So you want to press it so that your limbs come forward to being completely flat a little bit. And then you just want to sight down the bow, make sure that your limbs line up. Alright, so the limbs are lining up, the handle's looking straight, so here you can see it. So when you grip it, you can see there's just a little space for your hand right there. Alright, so now we're going to work on the tips. I'm going to show you how to do that.